Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today is a bit of a sort out and tidy up day. Um, hubby is doing okay, I'll tell you a little bit more about that uh, later on, we'll have a bit of a chat. But because I'm putting some diamond paintings away and I'm going to frame one and I'm going to update my log book and put some in my folders, I thought you might just like to have a look at how I store my completed uh, projects at the moment. So I have a separate um, log book for my special drill painting because they're only sort of smaller projects, not quite so time consuming as doing full drill. For whatever reason, I decided to start keeping them separate and I have separate folders um, for special drill paintings and full drill paintings. Don't ask me why, it's just one of those things that popped into my head and sounded like a good idea at the time. Hey! <laughs> Right, so I have been filling this in as I've been doing smashing the specials. Uh, so this logbook starts from January this year with all the special projects that I've done. So I do need to put some of the little bits and pieces into here once I've cut them off. And what I tend to do is store uh, my special drills. I've got an old scrapbook, um, well, scrapbook binder. For when I used to do scrapbooking with my card making. I never fully got into scrapbooking. I do prefer the card making side of it. And yeah, they just if you've got like a 30 by 30 uh, that's like a 25 by 25 when you, you actually measure the drill area, then um, they do fit nicely into a scrapbook. And obviously, if you've had a scrapbook before, you will know that you can buy the uh, larger edges. Uh, not the larger edges, the larger little stems, the little spikes that go in it, so you can expand them as well. So I thought that was a pretty good idea, but I've just been putting my small ones in. Now, this one is in because this is my first ever full drill diamond painting, so it's special to me. <laughs> and I just like having it on top there. So yes, it was a bee. I did a bee, bee happy and uh, yeah that took me forever and I thought I was never going to finish it so this is the only full drill that I actually uh, have in here I think I may be proved to be a liar later on wait and see so yeah these are just some of the very early pictures that I did that was terrible honestly it took about 10 minutes that one um, and it's very pixelated but these tend to be ones that I'm likely to make into uh, greetings cards which is why they're moving a little bit in the folder because they're not stuck down as such. You know, that would fit nicely. Probably, I might even get that onto a five by seven greeting card. So I tend to keep those in here so I can have a quick look. Uh, a couple of unicorn special drill ones that I did. Gosh, I did those ages ago. Oh, these are two of my favourites. My little hedgehog. I am still doing my hedgehog. Uh, comparison as well the time comparison for squares and rounds and I have timed doing a special drill one of these as well and I love my chameleon that is absolutely gorgeous that's what made me really fall in love with special drills doing this one and this one uh, I've got a little owl I think I may have done that on smashing the specials last year got my uh, unicorn from Rare Diamonds there then these are all a little tiny um sort of like a full drill special full special drill uh paintings as i call them because it's like a full coverage but it's all special drill and these are definitely greeting card size oh apart from this one i knew that i'd make me out to be a liar this is um a diamond art studio uh square this was one of their sample paintings that you could buy and uh, yeah it's absolutely gorgeous the eyes on that cat are beautiful whoops i've got millie in the room with me and i said the cat word but she's asleep. She's okay at the moment, so she hasn't heard me. But yeah, these will eventually be made into greetings cards. So if any friends and family are watching, you never know. You could choose your own. <laughs> um, that's another one that can easily go on. Probably an eight inch by eight inch greetings card. That was my row of diamonds. Um, sorry, you're getting a bit of glare here, are you? That was my row of diamonds mystery painting, and I started off in this corner. And I guessed what it was as soon as I did it. And I was quite disappointed with it. And all I could think the whole time I was doing it was what a waste of special drills. Because it has beautiful A, Bs and all special drills in this. Um, I love the outside. I think the pattern on the outside is gorgeous and the sparkle you get. But this bit here, very disappointing. You know, it's like they've forgotten to put a bit in. It's just as they've sort of like shaded it doing like an ombre effect going that way 
but this isn't something I would have bought either. So yeah, that was quite disappointing. Um, but you live and learn and I've still got it in my folder. It may go on a card. I have got a friend that uh, would quite, probably quite like that. So yeah, I may add some extra drills here. Just rearrange them a little bit and uh, redo that one. And then that's the special drill, the small ones that I've got. So we need to put uh, Bernie in this one because the others are all 30 by 40. So this is my little bunny rabbit. I absolutely love this. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just pop it in the folder because it will be going out on my Easter display. I have a little corner of the room now where I'm going to be uh, doing like a themed display each month or each season or whatever. So this one will be going out uh, probably maybe middle of March. So it's like a month from Easter. Uh, so it will go out in my Easter corner. Yay! Still got a few projects to do for that. So I'm just going to cut around the edges of this. If you're cutting um, a large area, a large straight area, and I tend to find that these don't cut very well if you try using a guillotine or a cutter. Um, scissors is the best way to go, even if you're not the straightest cutter. Try and sort of like look to where the end of the scissors are going rather than looking at where you're cutting. Look at where you're going to be cutting to and it tends to keep you a little bit straighter. I'm just cutting those diamonds there a bit. That's not doing very well, Liz. What are you doing? Look, I've just caught those. So I'm just going to help those back into place. They must have just been overhanging that edge a little bit. If you are cutting up to diamonds, try and sort of slant your scissors slightly underneath them so that you're going underneath and keeping it straight. But yeah, the bigger the pair of scissors when you're doing something like this, the better because then you're actually using less cuts to get to where you want to be. So you don't end up with like snippy bits in the middle. So let's do this side. Okay, this may take longer than I thought. Anyway, let's just get this one done and in its folder. Okay, and this has got a nice thumbnail on it, so I can put that in my logbook. And I only need one of the little inventory sheets. Uh, not inventory sheets, little key codes down the side. See, I've got so much to think about at the moment. Mind you, not that my brain functions strictly uh, fully all the time. <laughs> so let's just cut this one here. I uh, hope he's going to be wanting his uh, lunch soon. So I'll try and uh, just pop in and say hello. I might not get all of these things. Oh, I've got an extra diamond there. Look, let's just see if we can get that one off. There it is. It's always extras. So if this was my full diamond paintings, I would normally put some tape or one of my tape runners uh, on the back of there. But as it is, I'm just going to pop this bunny into the folder and I think you can see the black really then makes it pop and then when I want to get it out I can just take it out and put it in my phone in uh, my frames what I've got is now those magnetic frames on the wall and um, so I can just take out the paintings and put the new ones in which is great it saves having to mess about framing every single painting and I can rotate them and see them all as much as I want so that's bunny put into the folder that's the only smaller one I've got so We'll pop that folder away. That's my scrapbooking one. And I'll just quickly show you what I do with my edges. So let's look for White Bunny. Okay, so we have White Bunny, 30 by 30. I've not put where I've purchased it from, so I must get that filled in. I do believe it might have been... It was either everyday deals, I think, or fan sales, but I will sort that out. So let's get these bits. So I want one of those. So I don't need that one, so that one can go in the bin. And I want that because it's got the little picture on and I don't need that bit. Okay, I find this. Uh, I don't know, it's just a little habit I've got into. Um, if you've got any sticky edges on these, you tend to find you get more of the sticky edges um, when you're doing a full drill because the, ten, the glue tends to go over just that little bit. So I'm just going to cut 
that out there. Whoops, that's not very straight, Liz. Okay, and we'll put that there. And then we'll just cut this off here. This does make your logbook quite fat, but I have completed one logbook doing it this way and it has stayed in and it has been okay. And it is handy to know what canvases you've done and where you got them from. And it's quite surprising sometimes how long you've had them before you've completed them. So let's just use a tape runner on the back of these. These are just the, they're like a dry glue on a tape runner. Um, you just roll it through and it just puts sticky onto the back, a bit like your uh, Zyron sticker maker really, but in a little roller form. So we'll put that there. Um, oops, I've put my date started, date finished. It took, yeah, I don't think it really did take, it took about two hours, but uh, we've kept it for now. And it's framed no at the moment, difficult level. Uh, I would say moderate because there was some of the little teeny tiny ones in it. Okay, so that's a Bernie done. Let's see if I've got the next ones in. Okay. Right, so let's do the bigger ones. Just pop. Them. I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the bigger paintings, but they will go into my bigger folder. So this was from the range. Uh, I have got one that is black covered and the cover is a lot better quality. This is really, really thin. Uh, but yeah, I think I only paid about £1.49, £2.49. It was a very, very reasonable price. So I've just got some of my specials in here. As you can see, I have got a thing for owls. Uh, that's one of my flowers. I'm sure I've got another one. Oh, no, the other one that I've done, I actually made into a card for somebody. So even the larger paintings, I do make into cards. These are a bit wonky in the folder because, as I say, I do take them out and swap them over in my frames downstairs. That was a mystery painting that I got. I ordered it as a mystery, and that's what I received. It's quite pretty. I uh, love this one, but I'm not keen on the white backgrounds. I do like it when they've got more of a printed background. Albeit, I have thought about cutting that out and making it into a wall sticker. I'll have to see. That one I used as Hubby's birthday card. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before. I think it was last year. Was it last year? No, it was the year before I made that into his birthday card. And then these are my gnomes from a gnome member. Okay, just pop these in here now because they've come off the wall. And there's my honey flump. He's got a little bit of pattern around him. So I've got all my other pages uh, ready with the black A3 paper in. Now, you can put each one on its separate piece of paper. Because I'm swapping these in and out, then I tend to just put one piece of, well, it, I say paper, it's sort of borderline card. Uh, it's, I think it was either 160 or 180 GSM. So it... You couldn't really make a greetings card out of it and have it stand up. It doesn't need to be a higher GSM for that. But for this purpose, it just keeps the page straight and flat and gives a little bit of a base for the paintings. So let's get Bunny put in here. I say Bunny uh, will be going on the wall for Easter. I've not changed out the drills yet. Uh, it's still as it was. So again, we're just going to cut around this one okay and keeping the little key code and the thumbnail off the side there to go in my log book and oh we've got one at each side but we do only need one uh, you can actually put a label on the back of these if you want to um, and then you know put the details on it so if somebody asks you oh, where did you get the painting from or whatever you've got the details on the back rather than looking at your log book but I tend to just put them on my log book at the moment and I think I would possibly uh, knock them off or if I was if I actually wrote on it it may rub off because uh, I'm going to be taking them in and out of my folder. I think these will come out most years. As I say, I'm going to put the little dots in the flowers. I've not done that yet. And in these flowers. And I am going to change out that colour. But for now, it's just going to go in my folder while uh, 
I'm meeting myself coming backwards. Okay. So we need that one and that one because I think this is going to end up being a bit longer than I need it to be because of hubby. I'm just going to put these in the pages. I'm not going to fill them out. I've shown you how uh, I've done one. So I can do this downstairs then with him. That's the castle. That's owl, black and white cat, cat budgie and guinea pig. Where's my bunny rabbit? Oh, I've not got my bunny rabbit. Or if I have, I've missed it. Nope. So I'm just going to put that one there. Uh, oops. That one in there. I need a new page for that and I'll get those stuck in and done once I've finished. And then all these bits can be thrown away. And this one can go into here. Okay, I have got other folders with paintings and I have given away an awful lot of paintings as well. So uh, this isn't all of the paintings that I've done. So this is the specials that I've still got. Okay, and then we've got, oh, I love this one. Just think that guinea pig with that smile is absolutely gorgeous. And it's little flowers around its neck. There isn't a thumbnail on this one, so I will have to take a photograph of this one, which is a shame. But I'll get that sorted out. Uh, what I've been doing is actually using free prints um, and putting, using one of the, oh, this is, definitely not very straight Liz uh, put in one of the um, oh, collage makers brain's gone again yeah using one of the collage makers uh, that are free on the internet on the phone one of the apps and uh, put in three or four photographs or maybe two photographs onto one of the free print, print photographs and using them and then just cutting them up and they arrive to put in the book <laughs> Dear. I'm thrifty if nothing else. Gives me more money to spend on diamond paintings. Because this is a white edge, I'm just not really seeing this very well. Uh, and it is a little bit dull in this room. So sale is his catchphrase. It's dull again in the UK today. Actually, it's not, it's quite nice. Uh, it's just in here, it just seems to be a bit dull. We've been very lucky. Um, as you know, Hubby's uh, going through his chemotherapy now. Uh, he's having five doses, five injections over five days, which is very gruelling. Um, first one, I think he thought he was going to be ill instantly and not feel brilliant, but actually he was okay. Uh, today, after his second one, he's feeling a bit ropey, shall we say. There you go. I've got cat budgie and guinea pig there. So I'm going to put these in here. Because I have got them uh, videoed, if I do lose these or I do get them put in the wrong place, then I will be able to look up and see which key code belongs to which picture. <laughs> right, and I think I have seen the one for Castle as well. That was White Bunny that we've just done. Uh, ah, Bunny Egg Hunt, it's there. Look, I've just found it. So I have done one for Bunny Egg Hunt. I thought I'd done them all. Right, okay, so the next one is Castle that we're doing. And this one actually goes the other way around. Uh, oh, just put this one in the folder. I say, I'm sorry, the line's out really. I will have to neaten those up a little bit more or it will drive me insane. I can't stand squiggly lines. But anyway, it'll do for now while I'm showing you. And at least it gets it put away. I find if you leave paintings lying around, then they do tend to get a little bit scrunched up and diamonds can pop off, pop off and all sorts. So let's just cut this one out. Okay. Again, this one has a nice little thumbnail on it and it is a very little thumbnail. I think this one might be going out fairly soon because I think there's a little girl that would like this one. Uh, if I put it in my folder for now, I know where it is and it's safe and it's not getting fluff stuck to it or anything. Because if this is going in a frame, then it is pointless sealing it unless the drills are going to pop off. Uh, 
which they haven't. As I say, this one did actually have really movable drills when I first put it uh, down. Um, and some of them, it did, it, we did have an area that didn't have any sticky on. But it is actually okay now. So I think we're going to be fairly safe if it's in a frame. We're not going to end up with a pile of drills on the floor underneath it. <laughs> So yeah, uh, thanks once again for all the good wishes and the love and support that's coming our way. Um, so I hope he's doing okay. Gosh, the first day that we went, I couldn't believe it. I, I feel like I'm studying for a medical degree. Literally, the amount of paperwork and uh, tablets and drugs and injections and everything that I've got to give him on top of his chemo that he's having, it's like, whoa. I just sat and looked at it all, so I've got that organised as well. I've got it all in a folder. I've got written down what tablets he has when, so I can ch check them all off, because some are twice a day, some are once a day, some I don't start just yet. So, <laughs> as I say, all the reading I've got. And then she says, if you uh, need to know any more, if you log on to uh, this website and she's given me like this QR code to scan, you can log on there and it'll tell you a little bit more about it. And I'm thinking, more, more, blow my neck. <laughs> I already felt like I was a nurse when uh, hubby was in ICU, the amount of procedures that I saw them do and go through. So... <laughs> No, I'm not taking it away from any nurses that study. It's a very, very hard job. And there's poor girls that work in that uh, cancer ward doing all the chemotherapy day in and day out. It must be heartbreaking. There's some very young people in there. And, oh, dear, just seeing them. And they're all so cheerful and lovely, uh, the patients and the nurses, you know. And I just, my heart breaks every time I go in there. But I come out feeling positive because there's such a lovely, positive vibe in there. A peaceful vibe. And the girls that are talking to you are wonderful. What have I got? Oh, let me put black and white cat away. I'm going to frame home. I've bought a home for that. So I've bought a home for that. I've got room for that. Okay, black and white cat. I love this. I think that has turned out absolutely stunning. It's just everything I thought it was going to be. The black and the silver just pop so much with those green eyes and then just these pops of like orange and blue and then the yellow of the larger gems. It's, I just love it. I really do love it. I'm not quite sure where I would put it but I, I don't want, really want to put that one out because I just, even though it's a CAT, I do love it. I did used to have three cats. Um, I'm going to put this one in this side and put the two uh, puss cats together. So, yeah, we'll put that one in there so we've got the two together. Uh, yeah, I did used to have three cats. Uh, one of them was called Poppy and she was black and she was absolutely gorgeous. Um, she just <laughs> My mum and dad, she was my first sort of big animal that I got that wasn't in a cage shall we say I'd always had like um guinea pigs and hamsters and rabbits and budgies and oh, all sorts of things so yeah she was my first uh, and I actually got it because one of my friends was going to university I'd just got married um to a first hubby and uh, she was going to university and we'd been thinking about getting an animal and uh, yeah, she said, I can't take uh, Poppy to university. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I said, well, we'll have her. You can always come and visit. Anyway, she uh, said, oh yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, thanks very much. And I don't think I've seen her since she left for university. I think I got a couple of like, I don't know where I got email. There wasn't emails in those days. Um, I got, I think one letter or something from her and I bumped into her sister once and that was all I heard from her. So she, she was never bothered about coming back for Poppy as you <laughs> So yeah, so that was our first bus cat. Um, we went away for a night and uh, my mum and dad came to stay. And my dad woke up in the middle of the night and he's uh, nudging my mum saying, Hey, hey, hey. I thought I was having a heart attack, but when I opened my eyes, there's a cat sat on my chest looking at me. <laughs> I'm a 
must admit she did used to do that she used to come up and uh, you did suddenly feel this really heavy weight on your chest and you'd think oh, oh what's happening and then you'd open your eyes and there'd be these two green eyes she had brilliant green eyes with the black staring down at you it'd jump out your flipping skin and uh, yeah so my poor dad said do you think she wants something <laughs> That was my mum and dad's first encounter with uh, Poppy. But yeah, she was really good. Uh, I think she was part Siamese. She had quite a Siamese-shaped face. And she did play fetch. If you threw, like, we used to roll up tinfoil um, balls and throw them for her. And she used to bring them back and she used to play fetch. And she really played. And uh, when we got our first dog, she used to mother him. It was lovely. We had a little West Highland White Terrier and she used to run around after him and mother him and oh it was lovely to see they were real good pals and then uh, i think i've told you the story of uh, Gemma, our tabby cat that we got and uh, yeah she yeah uh, she was from another friend and um, they'd lost their cat right i've finished those oh i need to put those in my book and uh, her cat was black and it had gone missing and it came back and she had a chaotic house she had a lot of kids and a lot of going on in the house and then this um boy black cat that she had suddenly gave birth to kittens <laughs> and uh, do you know, i can't find this one and i have just seen it as well oh, where is it black and white cat there it is so they all want to go in there and then the other one was home which i think i've just seen as well right and that one's home is the last one to do so just pop that folder out the way so that's those all nicely put away and done So I've just these are the frames that I got from my shopping trip. Uh, if you saw my shopping trip video, and they're from the range. I think this was three pound forty nine or three pound seventy nine. It's a thirty by forty white frame, and I thought because this is sort of mainly white, it will look better in a white frame. And this is going to go in my hallway as people come in, just as like a welcome. Okay, so we're just going to do exactly the same thing with the picture it's a bit of plastic there a bit of cover sheet to get rid of so yeah my friend's um, boy cat gave birth to kittens <laughs> obviously it was the wrong cat and trying to explain that to uh, a five-year-old who then went to school and said our black our boy cats come back i think called him tom or something like that and he just had kittens and uh, you can see a lot of raised eyebrows and people thinking, okay. I said, didn't you realise it wasn't your cat? And she said, well, it was black and it looked the same and it was real friendly. And I didn't really get a chance to have a close look because within two days it had given birth. <laughs> uh, they never did get their uh, boy cat back, but they did keep that one. And um, they kept one of the kittens and I got one. I think she had four kittens. Uh, yeah. So we got one of them. I think there was a tortoise shell one. It was really for a black cat and she had a tortoise shell. Um, the fluffy tabby, which was Gemma, which is the one that we um, got. Um, and then I think there was possibly an all white one and then a black and white one. So none of them looked like they're a mum at all. But yeah, I don't know, it was just so funny though. Poor kids were so confused that the uh, boy cat had just given birth to kittens. <laughs> Yeah, Gemma thought she was a dog. She used to come for a walk with us on a night. Um, we had a spaniel at that time and he just took over looking after her. Um, and uh, he used to carry her around. She was she permanently had a soggy head from where he'd picked her up and walked around with her. <laughs> it's always been fun in our house. 
and uh, then we had Lucy. Lucy was a stray. Um, I got a call from uh, Hubby one day saying there's a baby kitten. Oh, that's not quite going to fit there, is it? I was hoping that that would go so that I could keep that white edge and it's not going to go and I want this to be white on the back. Let me see if there's... Uh, see what colour the actual other side is this is the only use i've found for these cheap tweezers look they're great for getting these little um black things off the little holders rather than using your nails they're just the right thickness to slide underneath and get these up oops and if they don't you can just use one end at the other end look oh these bend look how that's bent it's gone into a boomerang. So yeah, they're not brilliant, but they are good for this. I always keep a pair handy for if I'm framing something. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, we had Lucy the stray uh, and she was a black cat as well. And uh, she lived under the wardrobe in the front bedroom. Um, yeah, she didn't come out very much. Uh, we tried everything. She was just a very scaredy cat and uh, didn't really like people and didn't like coming out but we gave her as much love as we could and looked after her and everything but yeah it was really funny um the first night uh, current hubby came to stay and uh, he's laid in bed and he suddenly said there's some eyes underneath the wardrobe bearing in mind that you know i'm a real well i was a real horror buff and loved horror films so we well, I'd seen a lot. He'd seen a lot from behind a coat or a cushion or whatever at that time. And something's looking at me. There's something looking at me from under the wardrobe. And I said, what do you mean? Something's looking at you. really played along with it. I'm going to wind him up, get my arm back on him. This is the man that jumped out of a cupboard at me once. And I was just walking past with a bowl of cornflakes, half asleep in the morning. And he jumped out and I went, woo! And the cornflakes just went everywhere. And then I had to clean it up because he was going out to work. I was so cross. I did laugh afterwards, but I was so cross at the time. <laughs> right, yes, yeah, so it has got a white background, this one. So we can frame this with a white background, which is what I wanted to do. You could put a um, silver card behind this as well, if you wanted to do. Um, and that would just sort of like give a silver edge to it. But I'm not going to do that in this case. I think the white's enough. So let me just grab some double-sided tape. And I'll just put some on the picture. We'll just hold it in. It may eventually dry out the double-sided tape and your picture may slip if you start moving it around. But uh, it's a good start. You can always just put some more back on it if you want to do that. So anyway, yeah, so Hubby's laid absolutely terrified next to me saying, there's eyes looking at me from under the wardrobe. Why he'd never seen the cat before, I don't know. We'd, we'd not been together very long at that point. And uh, yeah, so I said, oh, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. I said, shall I go and have a look? And he's like, no, it might get you, it might get you. Anyway, I kept it going for a while. And then I just said to him, oh, you silly so-and-so, that's Lucy. And he went, Lucy, who's Lucy? I said, that's my cat. He said, well, you've already got two cats. You didn't tell me you had three cats. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> that was just so funny. I had them wound up for ages. But yeah, he says, oh, you're frightening me to death. There's just these two green eyes peering at me from underneath the wardrobe. He says, I thought it was going to be one of them dolls or something or a troll or something come and get me. I said, oh no, you're quite safe at the moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've always been an animal lover. Right, if you just flip up the corner of your tape, as you can I don't know, yeah, you can see it there. Look. I've just taken up the corner and folded it, and it just means that there's less of the tape exposed. So if you've not quite got it in the right place, you can then just lift it back up without having put all of the tape on and fighting with all of the tape. So let's just fold that corner down as well. It doesn't always stick brilliantly to the canvas because the backing paper um, is like the least resistance 
for it so let's just see so we need to try and get this in the middle as much as possible and I am I'm not measuring I'm doing it by eye as it were just looking and seeing if it's in the right place so yeah I think that's going to do us and then all you need to do once it's done is just pull those bits out and flatten them down yeah and it just makes it that little bit easier to get it in the right place if you'd have needed to lift it up probably white's not the best way to show you and um, if i do another one i will let you see that one but yeah so that's that one done there so let's just now lift this up and we'll get it put back into the frame okay it's quite a I would think that's probably about 120 GSM, this piece of card. Maybe even 140. So we want it the right way up. So that's that's that way up. So the hanger wants to go that way. And let's get all these horrible little... I really don't like these type of photo frames. But then when you're only paying this price for them, uh, you can't really complain, to be fair. Well, I can, but... You shouldn't do really <laughs> and then just pop all your little tabs back down again using your cheap tweezers so there's a use for everything what can i say i was a girl guide <laughs> i was a girl guide leader as well that's a whole other story oh dear the things those girls used to get up to when we used to go camping dear me if only the mothers knew <laughs> Right, so that is now framed and we now have our home to hang on the wall and we have got the hanger on the right side, yay. So I think that looks really pretty, really fresh, really good looking. Okay, well I'm going to leave it there, it's been a little bit longer than uh, I anticipated but I hope you've enjoyed seeing these with me um, and thank you ever so much uh, for everybody that's still following me and for sending good wishes for hubby. We've still got another three lots to go. Um, I do think as we go along that he is going to get a bit weaker and a bit worse as the drugs and everything start to kick in. Um, the other tablets and injections I'm giving him are supposed to combat the effects of the chemotherapy but you know, as I say, he is feeling a little bit iffy this morning. Um, so I've left him for a sleep while I've just nipped to do this. But I don't want to lose him too long. So if you've enjoyed watching this, give me the usual thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. It's uh, great to have you here. And if you press that subscribe button with the all notifications next to it, you'll be notified when any videos come out. I will try. Uh, I have pre-recorded a few unboxings that I've sort of like put up and any videos that I do get a chance to do with little updates and things, um, I will sort of like space them out in between uh, the unboxings. So thanks for staying with me and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.